Hi, Lee Ellis here with your monthly video coaching. You know, we've been working through the statements of the honor code, and this month we're up to number seven. And that really is uh, where the rubber meets the road of how we do the first six, because it says, live your values. Be faithful to your spiritual core, your conscience, and your deepest intuitions. Pretty powerful. Sounds great. Not easy to do. The reality is, it's hard for all of us to do that. You know, in the POW camp, though, the, the core values that we had were a tremendous bond. They enabled us to resist and to return with honor. In fact, our, really, our core values were about all we had. You know, we were uh, deprived of food sometimes and never great food. Uh, torture was going on in the camps for the first few years. It was just very difficult times, a lot of isolation. But those core values that our leaders lived, that we all believed, but they set the example. And they suffered to keep those core values intact and to show us how to live up to them. And that made all the difference in the world. You see, in an organization, just take your organization today where you are. If you have a few core values that you really believe and you commit to, those core values can really guide your people. They're the guardrails. They're the North Star for your whole team, your whole organization. And so you don't need a lot of rules when you've got strong core values that everybody understands, they see the value of them, they believe in the power of them. And if they're working to live to those core values, you don't have to be in every meeting. You don't have to be in control of everything because they know what to do. They know what the core values are and, and they're gonna to try to live those. Well, you know, let's talk practically about how that works. I think first of all, you have to know what you're committed to. What are your, your core values? Who are you? Who do you wanna be and continue to grow toward as part of your core values? Because it can be an ongoing process, I think, for all of us. We all should be growing more committed and deeper in our values as we grow older. So what are you committed to be? Who are you committed to be? And therefore, that leads you also, what are you committed to do? Being clear about that, clarifying that is so important. Clarifying, clarifying, clarifying for everyone. And as a leader in your organization, you're going to have to clarify and communicate that all the way to the lowest level. But then you have to act consistent with your values because everybody's going to be watching you. I mentioned the POW camp. Our leaders suffered so much to be consistent with their values. And our values were very simple. Uh, do your duty with what your country expects of you. Take care of your fellow man. Resist the enemy and be faithful. We had to believe in that and then we had to be willing to suffer to live up to those values. And so that really bonded us together. In practical ways, I think we need inspiration, first of all, because life is an ebb and flow. Each one of us ebbs and flows in our commitment to things as we get distracted, if we, we get down about things, or we get up about something. We need inspiration. Inspiration is about our emotions, and our emotions are tied to our deepest desires. So when we can be inspired, it helps us to renew our commitment to our uh, values, to remember why they are our values and why they're important, and to remember who we're committed to be. So practically speaking, how are you renewing your uh, inspiration? How are you getting your inspiration? Uh, I get mine, I listen to podcasts, I read blogs, I read books, uh, I have friends that I meet with, my family, we have discussions uh, about values type situations from time to time. But we have to be authentic in that. We have to be authentic and to realize that we have all have room to grow and that we do ebb and flow. And practically speaking, it's really an ongoing battle. I'm committed to be engaged in that ongoing battle, to be authentic and to live up to my values. And I don't do it perfectly every day, that's for sure. But I'm in that battle and I'm working to do that. And I want to challenge you to be authentic and to live your values, to be faithful to your spiritual core, to your conscience and your, your deepest desires of who you want to be and, and to grow into that day by day. And when you do, I can assure you, others will be watching and they will be inspired by your example, the fact that you not only say the right words, 
but you walk the talk. I hope you'll join me in this whole idea of leading with honor, of living with honor, following those seven principles that we've laid out in the Honor Code. And share those with your friends. And by the way, you can always uh, go to our website and download those and pass it on. We encourage you to do that. Have a great month and look forward to seeing you again next month.